Oh, can you, can you be can you be my attorney? Uh, yeah. We're for defense or prosecution. You, you need legal aid too. Is it for the Cornwood um, case? You, you, no, this is for the treason that? case. I want you to protect me. For Wait. what? I'm not sure. I'm being questioned regarding it by Barrick and Flop. You don't need me to defend you. You just need me to be there for questioning. You're still I, defending him technically, please. But it's yeah, not you a, tell me when I answer. A trial I, case. Right. I might. I might get Miranda eyes here. Right. So I need to make sure that whatever I say is truthful and to the point. But at the same time, you're my lawyer to make sure that you, you hear the question first and you tell me the answer. I don't know if I'm conflicted or not. Yeah. Cornwood. Howdy. If, if Slacks waves conflict, you can be his lawyer because this is not a this is not a criminal proceeding at this time. If it goes to court, you cannot be his lawyer in court. To be clear. Okay. Hey, uh, if you waive conflict, then I can I can also uh, help. Now I can't defend you in court, but for questioning, you can have Grace primary, and then I'm like secondary. Oh, right, she's here. Let me uh, bring him down. Okay. Okay, so um, Captain Turner and Captain Ruth, we decided to um, meet up at City Hall, sat down and had a conversation with the mayor. During our conversation, we brought the reasons why things were moving slow. Captain Ruth raised a question, asking that- Okay. Uh, Hypothetical. Um, she, she raised the question, um, well, the city council can vote on who's gonna be in charge of the PD or something like that. Can the captain just vote and sit above the city council? Obviously, I did not agree with it. It was an unprofessional thing to say in front of the mayor. Um, being the same is not better. I'll be honest. I, I was in a state of disarray. Just this is not somebody who I expect to be like this. My interactions with the mayor have been very extremely positive and very, very good. Can you explain what's going on? He's being questioned about PD Ruth being charged for treason. Knock, knock, Hello. stepping oh, yeah, in real coming. quick. Yep. Hey. Dude, we're ready. Oh, yeah, we're ready. Slacks. Okay. All right. Here's the thing. When you guys Slack are ready, is we'll innocent. Be in the other room. He's covering. I don't think so. I think he's being honest. Like, dude, sometimes like shit happens, and you're like, you're so like, what the hell just happened that you like, you just don't listen to it. Uh, Captain Slacks, as a formality, uh, I'm going to be advising you of your rights. You do have the right, the right to remain silent. Anything you say <laughs> or do can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford it. An attorney one will be appointed to you by the state at no cost if available do you understand your rights i read them to you today yes i do all right uh captain slacks i'm gonna be asking you a series of questions today some of these uh, are related to an incident specific that i think you are aware of uh, that involves captain ruth and some of them might be outside of that scope on the date of february 24th 2024 did you attend a meeting in the mayor's office yes what was the official purpose of your visit to the mayor's office that day discussion about pd matter activity numbers hiring firing, disciplinary action. Also, the PD legislation <laughs> that the mayor was planning on proposing to city council. Okay, and that legislation was the now known as the Police Continuity <laughs> Act, is that correct? Correct. Let me take you back to Captain Ruth's statement. You keep mentioning that it was hyperbole and it was hyperbolic and that she didn't mean it. How do you know that to be true? Uh, because at the city council it was heavily discussed um, and the chief justice himself said it was not treason. Based on the what transpired, the mayor provided his side of story Myself and Captain Turner provide our side story, and the Chief Justice uh, agreed that it was not treason based on what transpired. Did you participate in or overhear any discussions or comments that indicated that the police department would be uh, considered an equal branch of government? Ooh, I yes. believe that um, Captain Ruth has brought something like that up. I think something about the PD being like a branch of government. I don't remember the exact wording. I'm just uh, remembering the I'm not sure, actually, as far as that, because um, having a seat at the city council, I thought we were uh, a branch of government, but uh, it was explained to me that that was not the case afterwards. No, uh, no, just say no. Can I clarify real quick? Yes. Do you do you understand being a g government employee doesn't necessarily mean that you're specifically part of your department's a part of one of the branches, one of the three branches of government? I understand that. Uh, the way I see myself as, you know, local authority in the CIS, CIS and race. Yeah, I would okay. I would argue that the police department falls under the Department of Justice, right? You're the you're the officers of the peace, and lawyers are the officers of the court, and then you have the judiciary, the that's judiciary, the judges. No, so, that's good because okay. I because I clear because um, I helped him clarify. I was helping right. him. With that being said, um, I'm going to ask you about another scenario. Does the police department generally provide security details when there is a credible threat against an individual? Uh, if you could just give me an example, it'd be great. But um, if requested and if I threat, yes. Are you aware that there's a security detail applied to a city council member as early as yesterday? Yeah, that was correct. That was the point of contact. Are you aware of any other requests? Uh, yes. Please belong to the president. executive branch of government. Yes. Yeah, but not not in Los okay, Santos. Who else? If you don't mind asking, what does this have to do with the investigation? This is all tied to Captain Ruth. And uh, I have reason to believe, based on statements collected at this point in time, that there may be a crime that was committed. 
and I have questions about it. Quick question for my clarification. What's the difference between somebody being recommended for it and somebody specifically asking for it on their own uh, behalf? In this case, an officer made the recommendation. That a council member should be protected. By a security detail by the police, correct. Okay. Oh. I don't want to speculate in the matter. Um, I know that threats have been made to multiple members of the council. Because because okay. if people are trying are to overthrow him, you're aware of so far. Then define credible. Oh, Someone who has a history of violence, who has perpetrated crimes against people in government before. There were threats being made, and it seemed like the, the threats were being followed. Uh, they follow through, and people got hurt. And that's all I have to say as far as that investigation, because it is ongoing. It's an ongoing investigation. Okay. Yeah, because Siobhan, wasn't it like a take it up the chain of command? Uh, pause the recording for a moment. Sure thing. She, like oh my gosh. Advise, uh, audio recording is being no, 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 no. 40 a.m. EST. Yeah, uh, you're right. Ruth told Siobhan 1427. that she could not have a security detail. Okay. I just want to cut through uh, a little After bit of After the BS. kidnappings, I know, I know that we like, have, um, uh, like three weeks ago. Many things that are going on. And so or I just want to get to the point. Are these threats, uh, are these threats, they open investigation? Uh, I'm not asking for uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, details about it. Yeah, so, like, so, 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 I mean, I remember, dude, I heard about this somebody in character. Somebody with them and one, one of the city council members, or a city council member has been hurt. And one ah. is, one is, um, you know, Hiding right now, uh, fearing for her life. Can you just tell me which city council member it is? All I'll say is if it, if it's the person that you mentioned in the hallway, Xavier, it is not them. It's not them. Okay. No. Okay. Perfect. It is not the main two fish. Whatever you're talking about with these other city council members, I'm not looking for answers for them. The one I'm referring to specifically is for Siobhan. Has there been anything like that for her? I mean, Sh Siobhan has been attacked on multiple occasions and multiple times by different kind of people in different kind of groups. Unfortunately, okay. she's been a target uh, often and um, frustrating. Okay. I'll be honest. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna turn the recording back on. I'm gonna resume this line of questioning with Javon in mind. And uh, okay. hold on, can I, can I have a moment with uh, with Captain Slacks before we turn the recording back on? Two minutes. Am I stupid, or do you think that Ruth is behind clapping the city council? Uh. I no, have no idea that's, what they're that's not what, that's for. not what they think. That's not that. I, okay, okay. I, that's I, what I, I thought. Don't for, know what that, it's related that, to. That, that's where my mind all. went when they're talking about city council getting hurt. Yeah, no. Uh, I just had like a, a huge epiphany, and mm -hmm. I'm trying to be very wise about how I'm going to say this because I just pieced together like six different things over the course of the last like month and month or so. Maybe it was three, four weeks. Did you call to have a uh, PD presence at the town hall meeting? Whatever he was having the conversation with people at city hall, like he does. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. So, you, right. okay. I, I, so that was I, your call. You personally made that call to correct. watch for Siobhan and watch for uh, the mayor. Correct. Yeah, of okay. course. I mean, because once you brought that up to me, I was like, you know what? Like, when you stop that? Because they kept telling me they got Fingal Dan down here doing dumb shit, kidnapping okay. the mayor, attacking this and that. So ever since then, we had folks come down there and protect the uh, city hall. Okay. So you need to remember that and i think it would be wise for you to bring it up at a certain point and make sure you say you made that call specifically you just need to know that all right we're ready holy dude oh my gosh if i didn't remember that he would not have caught on at all holy shit dude oh my dude they were gonna aoe them into a trap they were literally gonna aoe the three captains man power level dude should I let it happen? No, I no. It I like Cornwood would never. I think I know where you're going with this because they bring keep bringing up Shabon and the fact she's being attacked. I mean, but you did that. You made that call. Hmm? You guys good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> keep in mind, twenty twenty. Slacks is the only captain who's who's actually had involved, had Cornwood back. Two. I'm just gonna get back into it because we are strapped for time. So, are you aware of any requests made by Officer Luis Campbell for a security detail? For one, Siobhan Thoroughbred. I don't usually um, interact with a Louis Campbell, uh, but I do um, remember uh, ever since the couple instances after Fingal Dan has been. And Bingo! With, uh, oh Jeff, my uh, gosh, dude, I'm been so glad. Oh, I'm so glad and I'm kidnapped the mayor that. and first lady. And uh, when the public announcements are being made that we send officers down there to make sure that we're being proactive. Hell, I've been down there myself twice. I've called people down there on the radio when they do those public announcements because a lot of times, folks do use that Holy shit, to dude. Uh, kidnap somebody or hurt somebody. And what do you know about Officer Campbell? Is she an officer? Absolutely. I mean, she was one of the people who looked for skeleton crew. Do you trust her judgment? A thousand percent. 
If she brought a request to have a security detail for a sitting city council member, would you honor it? Yeah, I mean, if she brought me information as a credible threat and it's happening, absolutely. Okay, are you aware that Ca uh, Captain Ruth was presented with this exact scenario but declined said security detail? That is news to me. Captain Ruth never made mention of this to you. I don't recall ever having a conversation about something like this. Ooh. Is that something that... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, oh. I mean, this is something that could be handled is from shift to shift to shift uh, because things kind of change depending on the environment we deal with and what kind of criminals out there. So I can't really answer much on that because I don't have much details as far as what you're, you're talking about right now. That would be more of a shift one matter that I'm, I don't really attend to often because I'm a shift two guy. Okay. This might have been answered already, but it's like what was apartment. the dude? He might have been actually. What was the atmosphere like between the three of you upon exiting the mayor's office? I was in a state of disarray. I was blindsided and my jaw dropped because, like I said, he called us fucks. He was screaming, "Tell us to get out!" Call us traitors, captains. He'll have our badges. I'll have our job in a week. Things like that. I mean, everything kind of came out. We discuss the conversation to the whole PD. I felt like at the moment we had to be very transparent because the last thing we want is um, to, make, to have it come off as a cover up for what transpired to uh, the mayor saying, well, they said this and us saying, no, this never happened, right? And I think that's the last thing we want to have in, in the PD. So we wanna make sure that we wanted to give our perspective or um, the captain's perspective as far as what happened and make sure that anything that did transpire was there on paper. Have you ever seen characteristics or attributes of being vindictive or seeking revenge from Captain Ruth? I don't think I've ever seen her do anything uh, like that. No, I don't think I have ever exa exam examined behavior of revenge. Like I said, I think she's somebody who's um, by the book, somebody who's very textbook and likes to follow the rules. All right. That's all the questions that I have for now. Uh, Captain Slacks, we will let you know if we have any additional questions or need any additional follow-up. Uh, I would ask that between now and when we speak with Captain Turner, if you could refrain with from speaking or letting him know any of the questions that we've asked you about. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you again, Captain Slacks. Thank you. I appreciate your professionalism and your integrity. Uh, of course, I appreciate you, y'all, you know, um, seeking justice. What did I do? Did I do good? I mean... Come, come, come with me. Yeah, you're welcome, by the way. I caught on as soon as you said something did, like did that. You, did you catch that shit? Literally right yes. when... Holy yes. shit. Come, you, come here. You come definitely out. saved my ass. Literally, it was the next question. Holy shit. I mean, there, there is a reason why you're clear to come over to Esquire, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Hey, Captain Slacks. Uh-huh. You'll be a damn good captain someday. Hmm. <laughs> so not today? Someday. All right, we'll see you in the court. <sighs> Dude, I'm so glad I was there. Oh my gosh.